Look me this bookshelf. I'm Anne Roche. And today I'm going to be reviewing Welcome to Washington, Fina Mendoza. And this is by Kitty Feldy. So the basic summary of this book is Fina Mendoza just moved to Washington, D.C. What happens is that so she sees what she thinks is a demon cat. And so then she learns about it from this really going to be police officer. And then so curses start popping up here and there and problems too. So then her grandma breaks her leg when she's playing blackjack at an Indian casino. And so she has this little job. The congresswoman's dog, the woman who's in charge of the whole entire place where her dad works at, has a dog named Senator or something. And Fina walks into something for $5 a day. So she basically makes $25 in a week, unless the congresswoman's not there, which she mostly isn't. So she makes about $20 a week. And what happens is that one time, Senator something beat off a replica of the Washington Monument off a little display in the National Hall. Because Fina had a squeaky toy that looked just like it. He thought it was a squeaky toy. And also, what happens is that her older sister Gabby and her are alone when her papa goes to visit our abuelita. And so then what happens is that Fina tries to help with making dinner and she accidentally throws this jar of spaghetti sauce in the air and it literally explodes. And then the room looks like it's like splattered and covered in blood. Luckily, there is no illustration. So because of all this, she thinks it's really, really, really bad luck. And the reason for the bad luck is family problems. It's called life, okay? There are problems in life. She thinks it's a bad luck because they all have started happening in a row. Maybe moving to Washington was a bad idea. And besides, they didn't like it there anyway. The scary part, as I told you before, is when the spaghetti jar explodes. It is so creepy because like there's glass everywhere on the floor. And um, also the lesson that I learned is that if you want to get something done, then you have to believe that you will. If you want something to happen, then you have to believe. Like you have to believe in Santa if you want presents. But if you don't want Santa, then you don't have to believe in Santa. So that's why I believe in the tooth fairy basically, because I need money. But I can just add that on say, Christmas list. Anyway, I choose to believe in a lot of things. Unlike the Easter Bunny, because Number one, I don't like the Easter Bunny. And number two, last year the Easter Bunny put raw eggs in there. And my brother cracked it on my head. Took out a chunk of my hair there. Anyway, that I'll say goodbye and see you later.